Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth2. We're visiting with Dr. Robert Abel, Jr. He is an ophthalmologist in Wilmington, Delaware. He practices preventive eye care as well as surgery. What got you interested in eye health? How, how long have you been involved? Well, it's very interesting because I realized that in traditional medicine, we treat symptoms and not disease and not causes. We think we're doing something, but it is the basic cause that is the root of the later deficiencies and then disorders that we see. Mm -hmm. The eye is a perfect example. It has a high metabolism. It needs lots of good nutritional foods and supplements in order to keep going. Mm -hmm. And all of the nutrition is in the liver. I took several courses in graduate biochemistry and nutrition and realized it's so important to feed the eye because vision is mandatory in society today. 80% of what we do is visually oriented, and people's eyes are so necessary. At the same time, mm -hmm. sunshine and other stressful activities, self-chosen and occupationally available, are things that deteriorate the tissues of the eye, and the good nutritional support is mandatory. And you talk about nutrition. Most of us don't think about feeding the eye, as you say. That's correct. I mean, the retina, which is the back of the eye. Let me just be a little more specific. Okay. If we were to look at an eyeball, mm -hmm. it is... Let's look at an eyeball. An eyeball is basically a bag of water. A bag of a water. Bag That's of very water. interesting. It is a coated layer with outer coatings of a cornea and sclera. Mm -hmm. And it has two lenses, the cornea and the lens of the eye, okay. which focus light onto the back. There's fluid-filled areas where people can see floaters. And then there's the retina, which is a carpet of receptors. It's kind of like your rug being shaped like a bowl, waiting for the light to hit it and to send the message through the optic nerve to the brain. The retina is constantly breaking down, building up, breaking down, like a flashbulb. Mm -hmm. every, every microsecond is a little flashbulb. And the health of that retina depends on external nutrition. That's amazing. Most people wouldn't think that, self-included. Most people tend to believe that things take care of themselves mm -hmm. and don't have a problem until they have a problem. In fact, most people do not see a deficiency in their vision. One deficiency is how long it takes people to recover from glare at night after car headlights. Mm. By taking certain important basic supplements that we'll discuss later, like lutein, Mm -hmm. are very important in the rebound from glare and the protection from light stress on the retina. Okay. And so there are nutrients that we can take to feed the eye besides our, our diet. Diet would be, we be begin there. Well, I think you begin always with your diet because mm -hmm. you make a choice on what you put in. It has to be absorbed, go through your liver, and at nighttime when you're sleeping mm -hmm. is when the nutrients seep out into the remote places when your muscles aren't taking up all the energy and all the food. Diet is critical, mm -hmm. but we don't always get enough of the right foods in our diet, and therefore supplementation, I feel, is very important for people of all ages. What is the liver's role in the nutritional part of the eye? The fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, and K, are stored in the liver. All right. And the essential fatty acids, the omega-3s and the lesser important omega-6s, are stored in the liver. So when the retina is breaking down, it needs nutrients. The lens of the eye, which is what can become a cataract, mm -hmm. the lens of the eye has no blood supply and no nerves. So it is also very vulnerable to lack of nutrition and light stress. And light stress is always hitting the eye. Okay, so we would really like to come back and address the nutrient part, the supplement part that you can take for the eye. Okay, thank you, Dr. Abel. Thank you, Rena.